This is Emily Rubin, the dietitian from Thomas Jefferson University Hospital and the Philadelphia Academy of Dietetics and Nutrition presenting you with your nutrition tip of the week. So we are going to continue with our digestive enzymes, which ones to take and which ones maybe not so to take. So let's first talk about the lactase enzyme. The lactase enzyme is marketed for those who have lactose intolerance, where after you consume a milk product, such as milk, yogurt, ice cream, you may develop bloating, gas, abdominal distension, anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours after consuming these products. Lactose is the sugar found in dairy foods that actually cause the digestive symptoms. When you take this enzyme, it actually will break down that sugar that's causing the symptoms. The issue is, depending on how severe, how severe your lactose intolerance is, can affect the timing of when these pills are consumed. It may be easier to actually buy the product that already has the enzyme added to it, such as lactose-free milk and lactose-free cottage cheese. And something else people don't realize is hard cheeses such as cheddar, Parmesan are actually naturally lactose-free because there's no lactose, there's no sugar in that product. You could also try dairy alternatives such as plant-based products from almond milk, coconut, pea, oat milk. Our next enzyme we're going to talk about is peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is actually marketed to treat irritable bowel syndrome, like abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, and constipation. You can buy peppermint oil as a liquid or as a capsule, but it's most important to get it enteric coated, meaning it breaks down a little bit easier. While some studies indicate that peppermint oil in the enteric coated capsules only will help improve IBS symptoms, there could be some possible side effects. Sometimes it may interfere with certain vitamins, minerals, and medications, and some people also develop heartburn or reflux from it. And our last supplement we're going to discuss is probiotics. They are known as the gut-friendly bacteria. Probiotics are, are live bacteria and organisms that provide proper balance and a beneficial bacteria in our GI tracts. There's many common probiotics. They have a therapeutic um, benefit in helping with antibiotic-associated diarrhea, infant colic, irritable bowel syndrome, and ulcerative colitis and or Crohn's disease. But we really don't know which probiotics are most helpful and safe and beneficial because the studies are sort of controversial. For some of my patients, I recommend a reputable probiotic brand that has been researched. So it's most important to ask your physician or dietitian which probiotic they recommend. This is Emily Rubin, dietitian from Thomas Jefferson University Hospital and Philadelphia Academy of Dietetics and Nutrition, presenting you with the Nutrition Tip of the Week. For more information, you can log on to yourradiodoctor.com and eatright.org.